Okay, so do y'all remember when we were all flaming Sunny V2 for making that video on Chris Tyson, the situation called Why Chris Tyson Will Soon Become a Nightmare for Mr. Beast? Well, after all the shit that has recently came out, maybe he was right? I told you I manifested this. I manifested this. What's up, everyone? It's um, Bentley Creates here, your favorite retarded NPC scumbag. And today I just want to talk about the Chris Tyson situation and all the allegations that have come out against her. So if you don't know what happened, um, Chris Tyson, one of Mr. Beast's um, friends, got exposed for some really bad stuff. And by really bad, I mean awful. Like texting underage minors. That's not a cool thing to do. And supporting um, Lolly, which you, if you don't know what Lolly is, it's basically sexualized art of underage characters which is essentially child porn which um you know really bad stuff and it's it's awful you know i mean i'm pretty sure that should be obvious but yeah i'm i'm pretty sure you've heard about it by now i'm pretty much the last person to cover it but yeah it's been covered already but it's really bad and the thing is though that today we got some new stuff where chris tyson came out and said this and i'll put um put it on screen and i'll read it to you guys the tweet here we reads i would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone it was not my intent seeing recent events we mutually decided it's best i permanently step away from all things mr beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health and that's the bombshell right there if you didn't catch it um uh, chris tyson is permanently stepping away from mr beast videos which means she will no longer be in any more Mr. Beast videos from now on. So, yeah. Kind of leaves a bittersweet feeling. It's obviously, I'm happy about it because what she did is unexcusable. She should be put in jail for it. But it also just kind of makes me feel weird because I used to like Chris, you know? She used to be like this really likable guy and it was always funny, but now it's just disgusting. Can't support that. I think that would be obvious that I wouldn't support that, but still, still insane. But yeah, that's a quick update there on the situation. But before I do go, I want to talk about one more thing. And it's actually something that's kind of pissing me off. Is, uh, the people defending Chris Tyson. Yes, if you didn't know, there are people defending Chris Tyson for the shit that she's done. Uh, which is, I don't understand why. But there are people defending it. One of them is Pokimane. Saying that the allegations weren't true and everything. Which is kind of weird. Because when the shit was coming out against Dr. Disrespect. She immediately jumped to it and said, yuck, that sucks. You shouldn't do that. Well, Chris Tyson, because she's trans. No, she's, she's not allowed to do that. Just because she's trans. She still texted underaged minors, which is horrible. You know, I, I just put up a tweet um, I put out here, which basically explains it. Here it is right here, and I'll read it. Chris did the same thing Dr. Diddy did, but for some reason, people aren't keeping that same energy for Chris like they did Dr. Diddy, even after the allegations have been confirmed true. Trans or not, Chris still texted underage minors, which is a huge problem. It's pathetic. And, yeah, that's my whole thing on the situation. Um, yeah. Um, see you guys in the next one. Peace out. You know they got your mans. They got your mans on assault charges. Yeah, this you be hanging with? <laughs> you be hanging with? Oh, it's offender. And it was your man's. He was your boy. That's how you grew up with him. That's crazy, man. You ain't know what he was doing? You ain't feel bad at all? Like, no guilt? None of that.